but I'm telling you that the key in great marketing is finding your specialization. And by definition, a specialization means that you are a specialist in a topic. And if you are a specialist in a topic, you will inevitably understand how that topic impacts your business. Should you as a business be partisan or not? Well, if you are a 501c according to the United States tax laws, you cannot be partisan. So you guys are excluded from this conversation. However, everyone else out there who is in the business for profit has to make a decision whether they want to be partisan or non-partisan. And I think it is a little bit naive to believe that as businesses we can be entirely non-partisan. Also, the question is very evident, should we be non-partisan? I happen to think that if you choose an industry and you understand it very well, which you should, you inevitably have to also stand for or against certain policy that favors or disfavors your business. In other words, if you want to make money and take care of your employees and make sure you can sell your service or product, you need to know what politicians do that either helps it or hinders that. For example, in the healthcare space, right now my company is really a proponent of everybody having, having access to all the alternative options in the healthcare space. And that could be solutions that are powered and dependent on healthcare insurance, but also in a more innovative approach, I am very much in favor of options that do not need an insurance company to back the decision of an individual to make use of a certain health procedure or not. I am very much in favor personally for healthcare to be decided between doctors and individuals and also for that process to be affordable, transparent, accessible and also worth the while for both parties. In other words, I want doctors to make money but I also want the service to be priced in a way where it's not artificially inflated by policy. There you go. That is my reason for why I think if you are a strong business leader, you need to be partisan to some degree. Now that doesn't mean that you have to shout it from the rooftops and you know, endorse a candidate or uh, really go hard in promoting a certain uh, bill, for example. But you need, you should, in my humble opinion, have a, an educated opinion and in the right moments also voice that opinion. Uh, become affiliated or active in organizations that promote and represent your rights. That seems to be very obvious. Uh, I have, as you know, I am the chairman of a Chamber of Commerce and when I had a one-on-one -on -one with a very smart individual and asked him what do you think the mission and role of a chamber should be, he said, well, I think chambers should really be a lot more active in responding to policy and in being involved in developing policy. Yeah, I know this is a rather advanced topic and for some of you it might also be boring. But I'm telling you that the key in great marketing is finding your specialization. 
and by definition, a specialization means that you are a specialist in a topic. And if you are a specialist in a topic, you will inevitably understand how that topic impacts your business. And if you are a good steward to your business, you will inevitably want to drive policy in a direction that favors your business. That's it. It's very simple. All right, that's it for this week. I know this was a rather complex topic, but that's what you get when you listen to my videos, which I only want people to do that anyway if they have the knowledge and expertise to understand what is going on here. So if you are one of these people, I want you to hit that like button, leave me a comment and also if you would reward me with your subscription that would really show me that what I'm doing and what I'm talking about has value for you. Thank you so much and I see you next week.